What's up guys? In today's video, we play musical goats. So we have moved our boys up with the younger boys. So it's the younger boys' turn to become men. Anyway, so we've moved Lipton, Justice, and Ron up here to the barn in the back area where Moon Man and Drogo have been staying. And I was rather surprised that everything went really smooth. They got, got along, they got along fine. So, even, even crazy legs. We do have Moon Man and Lipton who will be leaving in January. And we haven't mentioned on our channel yet, but you might have seen on our website that we're not using Lipton anymore. He's just not structurally sound enough, in our opinion, as he's matured to use. He's got a few issues that we've noticed that we are not wanting in our herd. There's too many nice bucks out there in the world to um, compromise something that's not perfect in a buck. So we're just not using him anymore and he will be leaving in January. Oh, you guys look like angels in the sun right now. Aww. We are going to wash their underbellies, trim their feet, warm them, and give them a CD&T today. I feel good. Are you excited to do that, Jace? You going to do all that? Uh, get, get, don't run on that. Okay, Moon Man, if you don't know, maybe this is your first video. He is a son of Lipton as well, and he has a defect by only having one testicle. And that is genetic, usually. Not too big of a deal. I mean, it's only gonna appear in bucks, but it's a defect. So that's the story about Moon Man. Even though he has a beautiful moon spotted coat, he is only has one testicle. All right, so we're gonna get the soap and let the chaos ensue. Here we go. I'm playing tag along with the tree. Okay, so when rut season comes to an end, the boys move up to the closer pen for winter to stay warm and easier for us to feed them up here. But we gotta get them rinsed off because they get crusty. And we're gonna do their selenium and we haven't been good about giving them their minerals down. So you can see his tail is a little baldy. So we need to get them back in ship shape. What is it? Ship shop shape? Tip top shape? Okay, so Justice is gonna get CD&T shot, vaccine, and wormer, valvasin, orally. And then we're also gonna do selenium. So right now we are trimming his feet and we washed his underside. Look at that. Okay. Okay, we're on the last buck. We've washed, we've vaccinated, we've wormed, we've seleniumed. So the last one is little Drogo's. Then our awesome. buck care will be up to date. Feels so good. Doesn't it feel good to be done? Yeah. Doesn't feel good to take a shower. Yeah, I can burn these clothes. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, so just about everybody is bred. We've only got one more to breed, which is Dottie. And we tried an AI on her, but another year of failure. <laughs> Our AI didn't take, so we are out of time. And uh, we're going to breed her. When she comes back into heat, we're going to breed her to justice. But right now, we're going to do an ultrasound on Nighthawk. Mm -hmm. And check out and see if we can see how many babies are in there. About 35 days along, and she's bred to justice. Mm -hmm. So this is a Contech ultrasound machine and I'll link it below. We just bought it on Amazon. It runs like a thousand dollars or so and it does the job. It's an investment but it's a good one if you're going to be breeding goats for a while. So you want to get your ultrasound gel until you see white on the screen so that way you can get good contact. And you want to get up in the armpit of the goat when they're early. So up in this armpit. Kind of dark. Two. I looked like just one, two. 
That's like two for sure. Yeah, it looks like just the two. Two? Yeah, it looks like it, too. You see anything inside, Lisa? Here. Yeah, I would say two, but it's so hard to see. Zoom in. Okay. I don't remember how. It's a button. In those sacks, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. You can see it. So two. We're gonna call two on this one. Oh yeah, there. Little something up here too, but I don't know what that is. We're gonna say Lula Goat has two babies. All right, guys, we got all the bucks taken care of. We got them moved up to the barn for the winter, and we did Lula's ultrasound, so she's confirmed she has at least two babies in there. And next up, we're gonna be doing Sugar, Maple, and Trudy. They were all bred on the same day. So obviously we didn't learn from last year when Dottie and Mavis went off at the same time, so this time we might have three going off at the same time. So thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.